Hello, this is uh, Dr. Caleb Chan, and uh, we are doing the, the statistics for the series. And uh, today we will be talking about the uh, quartile measures. And then we'll also the, talk about um, the two key rule as a rule, a tool to help us determine if there are any outliers embedded in a data set. So, quartiles, I want you to think about the, say, uh, quarters in a dollar so there are four quarters in dollar so as such what the there would be say four quartiles so we have the second quartile Q2 which is the same as the 50th percentile and then we have first quartile which is the 25th percentile and then we have the third quartile that is the 75th percentile so that should not be that too difficult to understand. We also have, say, the minimum value and then the maximum value. And all together, this is called the, the five point summary because there are five points. And we summarize the data distribution using these five measures. And notice what the how we have not included the mean nor the standard deviation, but we're able to define or yeah to define the, the data distribution using these five points now using the example that we had about the going back to uh, the five hourly wages of employees at the Home Depot we have uh, $12, $20, $16, $18, $25, $25, $30, $35, $40, $45, $50, $60, $70, $80, $90, $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000,
what about the, the other side? Well, the is uh, Q3 plus 1.5 times IQR. Uh, what is the value? So it's 19 plus 4.5. So that is equal to 23.5. Now, is X greater than that? So 50 is the new value. 50 is greater than 23.5. And using the 2Q rule, we have established that what the 50 is an outlier because what the, it falls outside the, the upper bound uh, established by the uh, two key who is another statistician so that's pretty simple and the nice thing about using the two key rule is it's not influenced by any extreme values to begin with Q1 and IQR as part of the rule they're not influenced by the mean and max. So even if this value turned out to be 50, in our example, well, we would have the same Q1 and Q3, we'll have the same what the IQR. And as such, what the using the 2Q rule, we'll still conclude that the 50 is an outlier. So hope that is helpful. And uh, when you the in class, well, uh, we'll talk more about how to the compute the, the median Q1, Q3 using a simple equation and uh, that looks like this and we have to determine the position so uh, Q1 uh, position is going to be the um, something like uh, well why don't we just want to leave it uh, for class and uh, we'll stop here